Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton, and today I'll be talking to you about the final round rookie level of the Bryson DeChambeau Nine Hole Cup Tournament. So if you're not a subscriber, please become one. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And, you know, I hope you have a great final round today. I'll walk you through each hole, show you some of these very narrow misses, misses that I had. That way you can hopefully pick these things up. All right. We're gonna go right into hole number one. Hole number one, obviously, um, very simple hole. And it's 100% uh, must eagle if we're gonna think about even competing to win this one. So we're gonna go 10% at max. And basically here, we just go with max top spin, max left spin. And I go with about half a ball of overpower. You know, you don't need a ton. And I go max curl to the left with my extra mile. Here, really, we just bounce the fairway, go to this fairway, and we roll onto the green. This one here, we're pretty much dead center, but uh, we hit the pin and roll out. No big deal. It's not like we're expecting to pick up a hole-in-one uh, on a long par four like that, although we would have absolutely loved it if it would have happened. Uh, you know, just depending on your shot, sometimes you land on the fringe, sometimes you roll past the pin onto the fairway, uh, but just keep in mind, hole number one, pretty easy eagle to pick up. Takes us on to hole number two. Hole number two, I'm playing this one 10% at max. Using a navigator here, um, only just to reduce the wind a little bit. Uh, you could easily play this with really any ball. You could play this with a basic ball if you wanted to, Marlin. You know, it really doesn't matter. Um, but you're going to notice what I'm doing here. I'm using 0.9 bars of backspin uh, with no moving target. So I'm just letting it play exactly where the game starts me off. Again, 10% at max. This is 0.9 bars of backspin. Perfect ball. And we come in right at the hole, but really just a little bit long. So we need to maybe play that one with one bar of backspin to help us out a little bit. So, you know, we came in just a little bit too too high. So a little bit more backspin should put us at the cup. That's hole number two. And then we go on to hole number three. Uh, hole number three is pretty much where my frustration started. The drive is very easy. Here we're gonna play 10% at max, full top, full right. I got my orange ring right there on the rough line like you see. We make our pool. Here I go again with overpower, and this is max curl to the right. Perfect ball. You know, that makes this easy. We roll up, and we get great yardage. So we go 381. Now, shot number two, you know, you really can't ask for much better of an opportunity, especially in rookie, to when you can take an albatross with your thorn or whatever short iron you use. Like that puts us at a really good chance to drop this shot for an albatross. You know, but of course, you know, what do you think I do here? I hit a great ball because I just can't get it together today on perfect shots. You know, I'm using the fringe to bounce. I got the ball guideline pointing to the hole. I mean, everything feels really good about this shot. You know, we can play this one max. Uh, we're almost at max distance of our thorn. But again, you know, great ball to the left. So we're definitely going to miss to the left. So very, very frustrating as far as that goes. And hopefully you have better success today at hitting perfect than I do. Takes us right here to hole number four. Hole number four, this is going to be played 20% at minimum distance. I'm using a quasar for the side spin. As you can see here, I'm going with about 2.4 back, one and a half left. And you'll kind of see how this one goes here. And another great ball to the right. So again, you know, this is a little bit frustrating. You know, I got those out of the way, I guess. But, you know, I don't have a whole lot for you on hole number four because of that. But I do have something for you on hole number five. Hole number five using a katana. You know, we're going to go with max top. 
a little bit of right side spin here. I go with about 0.7 bars of right side spin. Just want my ball guideline like that. Ultimately, what's going to happen is we want to hit that second fairway up there very cleanly and just let it roll us down from left to right, which you'll see here in a second. That's another great ball, believe it or not. But regardless, you know, we're going to end up in this area because of the way the fairway slopes. So we're okay. This will take us into shot number two. Shot number two, I hit perfect. And, you know, this is something we can really learn from because we're super close. First thing I want to point out here is 2.2 miles per hour. That's about as low as we're going to get with a katana in rookie. So let's always keep that in mind as you see this shot. You know, if let's say, for example, you get to this hole and instead of 2.2, you know, you get 3.2. I think this offset will work. But because of how low the wind is, I shouldn't have used any offset at all. I am playing this one 10% at max. Now, on my other account, I just barely missed this to the left-hand side, but it was with higher wind. So I tried to adjust for that a little bit. As you can see here, I've got most of my ball guideline in the hole, but my ball guideline is not touching the flag stick at all. It's completely right cup. Perfect shot. And it just comes in a little bit too fast and really hits exactly where we were aiming. So keep that in mind. Um, that offset is probably going to be a good offset as long as you have a little bit higher wind. Um, but if you have lower wind like I do there, we just need to aim dead center of the cup and we'll be okay. Hole number six is going to be another hole in which you have to pick up an eagle if you're planning on competing, uh, especially, you know, up in tier number three. But this will be very simple. We're going to take a navigator, full top, one left, 10% at max, playing the right-hand side, perfect ball, gets us very nicely up the fairway, leaving us for shot number two. Shot number two, I play 20% at mid. I don't apply any spin at all. I just let my ball guideline go to the hole, as you can see here, just like that. We hit a perfect ball, and we're in there for the eagle on hole number six. Let's take us to hole number seven. Hole number seven, again, is a no-moving target. We're going to play one-to-one. -one. The only thing we're going to do is mess around with our spin. That's it. You see here, I'm spinning until the ball is offset just a little bit to the right-hand side of the cup. So just like that. Here, because of the way the uh, fairway is, it's easier to push your rings than it is to try to flip the camera around and pull them. So 2.8 miles per hour means 2.8 ring pull. Perfect ball. And we just barely miss this one to the left-hand side. Speed is really good. So, you know, keep that one in mind. We need to add a little bit more right spin. Uh, we know the top spin looks good. Just add a little bit more right side spin, and you're going to be okay on that hole for another possibility to drop that shot. Okay, hole number eight. This is another one that, you know, if you're going to win, you got to eagle. Uh, I do pick up the eagle here. I do play at 10% at max. The only thing here is you're going to see I go with a little bit more overpowered than I should have. This is about a little bit more than half a ball of OP. I hit a great shot to the left, but that's really okay. But the thing that happens here because of the OP is I bounce. But what we want to do is we want to clip this. We want to clip this rough right here. And I just barely missed it. So I rolled a little bit far. Now... Not a big deal. Um, that's a very, very short chip in for an eagle opportunity. Of course, we'd rather cliff the rough and roll out. But here, we just apply max top spin. We want to shorten our ball guideline as much as possible. I do hit a perfect ball, believe it or not, out of the rough. Can't hit a perfect ball 
on the other shots, but uh, it goes in the hole for another eagle. And then it brings us on the hole number nine. So here's the thing with hole number nine, okay? Um, you kind of just have to gauge where you're at. If you're in a position to where you can get yourself a top 10 and get a couple of kingmakers and a couple of berserkers, that's great. We got to play a little bit dangerous to try to pick up the albatross. Now, that's the situation I was in. I needed an albatross to be in sole possession of second place. Now, there would have been a big, big tie uh, at minus 16 already for second place, but I would have had the tiebreaker because of my uh, albatrosses and my score in the qualifying round. So with that being said, I had to go with a rough bump here in order to try to pick up a banner. So I went with the Kingmaker because of the headwind. Just remember here that that second fairway that we're bouncing onto, that thing rolls super fast. Two left side spin, one top. Look how short the ball guy line is. All right. It's showing that we're like on the bottom half of that fairway. But even with the headwind, when you hit this ball, I mean, this thing does, it just rolls and it rolls and it rolls. You know, so be careful with that. Now, the thing I'm going to tell you about here is we go for the rough bump. And I think the great shots at this point were in my head. Uh, it was a miracle that I was even competing to even try to banner with all the great shots that I hit. But again, you know, I really needed to make this in order to pick up second place. I played a little bit higher up on the rough just because of the headwind. And then I pull it at max distance. I pulled it 10% at max. But you already know what's going to happen, you know. I hit a great ball to the right, and that's just kind of pound sand. It almost got there. Even with a perfect ball, it would have got there. But with a great ball to the right, of course, I hit the sand trap, and the sand trap curves to the right. So you can see right there, just barely hit the, the sand, and we bounce out. And I do not save it. So <laughs> instead of getting a top, instead of getting second place, I'm going to sit here and be lucky to finish with the top 15 now. But anyways, I hope you have better luck than me uh, today. You know, I do really appreciate anybody who watches. You know, at least we have, you know, three shots that were dropped that you can see. Hole number two, uh, very close to dropping. Hole number three, you know, hit a perfect ball. If you're in that thorn range, you'll have a great chance. Uh, you know, hole number five, the albatross, we almost snuck that in there. We got hole six. Uh, very, very close on hole seven. So so really, I mean, any of these holes can be dropped for the most part. Best of luck, everybody. Let me know how you do in the comments, and I'll see you for pro later.